Hi guys, let's discuss the acid catalyzed hydration of alkene. Hope you know that there are mainly three mechanisms in the chapter alcohol, phenols and ether from your grade 12 board examination. Last year, 2025-2024 board exam paper, when you check it, you can able to understand they were asked the second mechanism from this chapter. It's a three mark questions, so don't lose it, okay? So this is the first mechanism we are going to study that is called acid catalyzed hydration of alkene. What is actually the basics meaning? To an alkene, we are adding what do you mean by hydration addition of water? So to an alkene, we are adding a water and what is the catalyst acid catalyzed. So to an alkene, we are going to add water in the presence of an acid. This is the process. Okay. Let me give you a simple idea. This is what the commonly they ask you this mechanism for your examination. Either they ask you for exam, write the mechanism for acid catalyzed hydration of alkene or they ask you how uh, write the mechanism for the conversion of ethene to ethanol. This is the basic question they are asking about exam. Let's see what basically happened. What is ethene? Yes, you know CH2 double bond CH2 is called ethene, right? To the alkene, what we are adding? Water. To this alkene, we are adding H2O in presence of an acid catalyst, all right? You know, there are two ions in H2O, that is H plus and OH minus. So, normally we will follow Marconico's rule, but here it is not applicable because it is a symmetrical alkene. So, let's add H plus to one carbon, the OH to other carbon. What do you get, dear students? You get CH2OH and CH2 becomes CH3. What is CH3, CH2, OH is called ethanol. So, this is what happening when ethene converted to ethanol. Are you clear? But we have to write the mechanism of this reaction. It's a three mark question. Mostly uh, they ask you a three mark question because there are three steps here. These are the three steps. Let's discuss in detail. Carefully listen. So this is the mechanism. So before going to main step number one, I will give you one minor step here. What is actually adding in the beginning H2O with H plus? You know, H2O combined with H plus, what do you get? H3O plus, right? Hydronium ion. I'll show you that. But it simply don't write H2O plus H plus give H3O plus. We should not write like that. So first of all, let me write HOH. Lone pair, lone pair. What is this species? This is water. So don't write directly H2O. Okay, HOH, the lone pair. Two lone pairs are there on oxygen. Reacting with what? H plus acid, right? Reacting with what? H plus acid. What happened in step the... This is a minor step, okay? We never, we didn't enter into the main step number one. Just wait. By giving this lone pair, by giving the lone pair, they will take the H plus. So H2O, by giving the lone pair from oxygen, they are taking the H plus. So what do you get here? H, O, H, then one more H already there, right? This H already got it. And this lone pair remain the same with the what charge on oxygen? Plus, why there is a positive charge on oxygen? Because it lost. Because it lost electron, a lone pair, and they're taking H plus, correct? So this is the way H2O combined with H plus. What do you get this one? H3O plus. What is H3O plus is called hydronium ion. Correct all of you? Right. Now we are moving to the main step number one. What is our alkene? We have our alkene is which one? Ethene, right? Let me take ethene once again. So step number one. What is ethene? CH2 double bond CH2. This is our ethene. To this ethene, the H3O plus is attacking. What is H3O plus? How we can write H3O plus? HO lone pair H. One more H. This is H3O plus. Correct or not? Reversible one. What going to happen in this step? In NCRT textbook, they given this is the arrow they mention. This is the way they shifted, they, they represented the arrow. Did you understand anything from this arrow? Those who didn't understand, please listen here. All of you, this is the attacking species. When an attacking species attack a unsaturated compound, the double bond shift means double bond pi electron shifted to 
any one of the carbon, any one of the carbon, either left or right. Okay. So if it shift like this one, this carbon get positive charge, this carbon get negative charge. Sorry, yes or no, correct. So if this, why this pi electron, you may study the 11th grade, there is an effect is called electromeric effect. Whenever a attacking species attack, the pi bond, pi electron shifted to one of the carbon. So one carbon get positive charge, one carbon get negative charge. Ready? Now, so this H is coming as what? H plus. This H is coming as H plus. So where this H plus attack on this negative carbon? This hydrogen charge is plus where it attack on the negative carbon, right? So this carbon remain as positive. So what normally you get here? H, C, H. Carefully listen everyone. We get H, C, H to the positive carbon. Nothing, no changes. So plus here. Double bond becomes single bond. C, H, H. And the new H plus already reached here. And what is this part? H2O. H2O is the part. But we should not write like this one during examination. During exam, we should write only the arrow, the arrow which I already mentioned, mentioned to you. All right, already I mentioned to you. This is the way you have to write it. This one, this positive charge, everything we should be take care while writing the mechanism. So this double bond, move this one and this H2O, this H2O out, okay? This H2O out, this is the H2O. And what do you mean? Are you clear? What is the meaning of this shift now? By giving the electron, they took the H plus. They took the H plus to one of the carbon. Which carbon? The negative carbon. Other carbon remain as what? Positive. What is the name of step number one? That also we should remember. Step number one is known as, step number one is known as protonation. Protonation of alkene. What do you mean by protonation? Addition of H plus. To our alkene, what is our alkene? Ethene, this H plus get added. That is called protonation of alkene. Okay, protonation of alkene. Step number one, one mark. So what is happening in step number one? Ethene reacting with the H3O plus. Ethene took one H plus from H3O plus become called what? Protonation, protonation of alkene. Now I'm taking this compound once again in step number two. What do you have? H CH2. And we have positive charge, C, H, H, H. And what is going to happen in second step is add water. Second step, addition of water, H2O, H2O, reversible. What do you mean by H2O? It is a nucleophile. You can call it as H2O is a nucleophile. What do you mean by nucleophile? Electron rich species. You can able to see there is a lone pair on this uh, oxygen. What happened? H2O is a nucleophile, it's electron rich. Hope you can able to see there is a carbon with a positive charge. What do you mean by positive charge? Electron deficient. So electron rich oxygen give electrons and make a bond with the carbon. So what do you get dear students here? HCH, alright. Then on this carbon who make a bond? Oxygen. On the oxygen you have two hydrogen, right? H2. One lone pair already there and oxygen again with positive charge. Why oxygen again positive charge? Because it lost. So this oxygen giving electron and making a bond with the carbon. So this is the system. What is remaining here? CH3, right? CH3 is remaining. And what you call, what is the name of step number two? Step number two name you can call it as Nucleophile attack. Who is the nucleophile? H2O. Where nucleophile is attacking on the carbocation. So we can say that second step is what? Attack of nucleophile. Attack of nucleophile on carbocation. Attack of nucleophile on the carbocation is step number two. Dear, you already know the product. What is our starting material, starting one with the ethene, what you are preparing, ethanol. What is ethanol formula? CH3, CH2, OH, correct? CH3, CH2, OH. All of you see, CH3, we are very close. CH3, CH2, OH, but one H is extra, right? Let's go for the last step. In step number three, what going to happen? Let me write the same compound once again. We have CH2, 
and then here we have C H three, and here what do you have O H H lone pair and plus charge, correct? And in the last step, in the last step, let me add one more water molecule H two O, one more water molecule H two O, two reversible, irreversible. Add water. You know, overall, what is our product? Ethanol. What is ethanol? C H three, C H two. OH but one H is extra so we can remove that H plus how we can remove H plus by giving the lone pair they will take the H plus back and this get electron it's getting electron mean positive charge cancel so what is your molecular formula CH3 CH2 OH so our product is ready CH3 CH2 OH ethanol is ready what is the by product here H2O Took the H plus back. H two O and H plus. What do you get? H three O plus. Hydronium ion. So what you can call for step number three. Step number one is protonation of alkene. Step number two is nucleophilic attack on carbocation. Step number three removal of H plus. Addition of H plus. We call it as protonation. Mean what is removal of H plus? We can call it as deprotonation. So step number three, we can call it as deprotonation, removal of H plus, called deprotonation. By the way, you can convert ethene to ethanol. So this is the mechanism for the acid catalyzed hydration of alkene to what which one alcohol. Especially they ask you for exam ethene to ethanol for board exam. So first step, the alkene react with the hydronium ion. From the hydronium ion, they take the H plus. That's called protonation. Is step number two to the carbocation, our H two O nucleophile attacking. That is called attack of nucleophile on carbocation. Last step, this H plus we don't want. Let's take it by H two O. That's called deprotonation. This is the mechanism for acid catalyzed hydration of alkene to what alcohol. Basically, ethene to ethanol.